ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the video. Now, I'm assuming I put the title as uh, podium training, because that's kind of what we're going to be like doing it as today. Alright, so I don't know why, I'm, we'll discuss it. Let's back out of the garage here and then we'll discuss it on the drive to the gym instead of me discussing it for 10 minutes before we've even left the garage. Alright, got, got a calm song today by, uh, by Zach Bryan. You know, nice nice casual for this podium training. It's like the only time you'll ever see me do a car ride on the way to a competition, maybe competition, and podium training. Everyone seems damn genius lately. Tick tock talking late night. TV still someone I have yet to know. All right, another bumpy car ride. It's still cold out and it's still all frozen. But uh, before we get into anything, my oh, it's on the end. My rip. I'll just put a photo up, and then we're gonna we're gonna cue a video back of uh, two days ago, literally two days ago of my rip. Nasty rip. Focus up. Focus up, camera. Nasty rip. Look at look at how healed that is already. Do you see that? It's insane how quickly that's healed. It's called Uncle Mike's Healing Sal. It's literally if you watch these videos and you live in Saskatoon, you can order it online too. Oh, it's insane. Like for it to heal that fast, it's uh, I never found anything like it. Code Ashton20, use it or don't, I don't care. But like, if you got rips and you want to heal them, you use it. And the 20 is because it's 20% off, by the way. But okay, we're off to the gym here. No, for one, just one training. My goal is for it to be three hours, four hours maximum, just because we kind of want to make it like a podium training. And I kind of titled this as podium training, just so when I post today and competition day tomorrow on YouTube, I can put them in a playlist together instead of just a playlist of just the Tyso comp. So then it just kind of shows, so I can like look back on it, you know? Yeah, there's just a competition here at our gym that we hold every single year. It's called Power in the Prairies. And that is going on tomorrow so uh since uh you know you guys saw me training some new skills very new skills because i only wanted to start training after elite and elite was literally just a week and a half ago we might try them tomorrow definitely not that one on pommel i'm not even close to getting that one but like we'll see we'll see you know you got that comp adrenaline going tomorrow maybe i'll maybe i'll be feeling it and wanting to do it and maybe i'll go for it I'm not sure but yeah we're just gonna go to the gym today Pretty much do a little, like, kind of just go through my skills really quick on all the events, and then just that's it. Nothing crazy, so that my body feels kind of, you know, ready for tomorrow, and I don't feel, you know, tired or anything tomorrow, and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, also, I got I got a question. I just want to ask you guys this, you know, to my daily viewers or just anyone that watches my videos. Um, if at any point, you know, I say something motivational or a cool clip or something, you want to... You want to comment and let me know like oh this would be a good clip to post on Instagram because to me every time I'm saying anything motivational or talking about anything or maybe even if it's just holy shit sorry uh, there was an old lady driving pretty much in the middle of the road and there's cars parked all along the sides as I was saying if I ever say anything uh, you know motivational or like useful or tips or anything you guys want to comment and like let me know like oh I really liked what you said there at like this part of the video so then I could cut it out and maybe post it on my Instagram only if you think it was like a really good one you know because I to me it's just like talking and I'm just saying kind of what's on my mind so I'm not to me I don't really know if it's like oh that was like oh that's a good clip I should cut that post it Instagram Facebook you know like I'm, I'm not really sure but from someone else's perspective you know so let me know uh, yeah we're merged at this red light here this red light would have been absolutely perfect if I had something to talk about for this car ride. But you know, I'm kind of more just, you know, focused on the training at hand today. Nothing but business. Then we got comp tomorrow. I think I've said that about 20 times, and that's because I don't know what to talk about to you guys today. <laughs> green light. Goose it. Come on. So I'm getting greener. Oh, I was just sitting here thinking this would be funny. So uh, in the summer, you know, this is a Jeep. So uh, doors pop off, roof pops off, all that stuff comes off. Imagine the car ride talks then, you know, no roof, no doors. Usually I leave the doors on and take the roof off and stuff, but that would be funny. I've always, I've always thought about that, but I've never really, you know, brought up in the vlog. And I guess now would be the time. <laughs> I got nothing to talk about. Like just nothing right there. And all you guys would probably hear the whole car ride is just from the wind. I just can't wait to give that a go though. Here, if this, uh, if this gets, what's a realistic but unrealistic number? Uh, 
a thousand likes. If this gets a thousand likes, and then I'll take the roof off in the winter time for a car ride to the gym, okay? Just for you guys. Oh, I so could have went. We're gonna go at the next one. I feel silly now. Better be safe than sorry. You know? Little tip, little tip for any uh, new drivers. If there's anyone, you know, it's like 16 or something and watching this. Uh, if you're signaling and you're getting ready to turn and you're not sure, just don't go. Just don't go, you know? Who cares about if there's people sitting behind you getting ready to turn? It's better to have waited five more seconds to make that turn than thinking you were good enough at making the turn and getting in an accident. Okay. There, there's the tip for the car I talked. Because I was about to make a turn there, I would have been absolutely fine. But, you know, it was a big bus. So if I didn't make the turn, it would not have been a fun, fun collision. Okay. Red zone, dead zone, kill zone, war zone. Let's get to work, shall we? All right, welcome to the video. Welcome to the gym. We're gonna plug in a microphone here into the speaker right here. I challenge you, Abby, you're gonna lose. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? We're gonna win. Let's get ready to rumble. Welcome back to this channel. Today we're gonna be doing a rap battle slash dance battle featuring Abby Clark and oh this one's a little weird. Um Ashton Collar. Guys, we have our sponsors for today. Our sponsors Prop for today are actually Time to Bleed because that's the best brand. <laughs> Okay, so first up we got Abby. Oh, Canada. Our home and native land. Are we going to dance battle? Yeah, you dance. I'll sing. Hey, Delilah, what's it like in New York City? That's hey there, Delilah. Dancing. That's my competition song. You have to do a dance battle, please. So basically, he's too scared because he knows I'm gonna win. So okay, I got the dance battle. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you whispering? Oh, ASMR. Here, let me put the mic up to the. Welcome back to ASMR. <laughs> ASMR. ASMR flag sounds, y'all. Okay, bad vlog. We're going to. Okay, what should I say? Whatever you want. No, tell me something to say. Whatever you want. Hey, Marco. Hello. You're not supposed to be doing training. <laughs> okay. Bye, vlog. <laughs> Peace out. All right, guys. We're set up for the comp. This is why I haven't uh, started training yet. So we're going to do this. Good job. Carried one beam. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Time for eye bar. I just spent the last two hours recording stuff for the Tyso Instagram page. So go give the Tyso Instagram page a follow. Be much appreciated. Right up, time for our podium training. I'm gonna do like three turns on four events. I'm not doing floor vaults, and then I'll do like three turns on the other four events, and we're good. All right, let's get started. Go on, I'm gonna have more three right? That was funky. Uh -oh. Damn it. The rip kind of came back open. Oh yeah, so we're just going to pretend this is like a... Uh, ow. Damn it. We're gonna pretend this is like podium training at Elite, where I didn't catch anything podium training, but I caught it all the next day. We'll give like two more tries, maybe one more. <laughs> all right, I could have grabbed if I wanted on that one. Okay, we're just gonna go for a Coleman. It's my last turn, whether I catch or not. And then yeah, then we'll do a couple turns on Palmo, P bars, and rings, and we're done. Come on, Okay, here we go. That was good. Okay, we're gonna go to floor. I'm not doing any skills on floor. I'm just doing my jumps to the corner 
and my press. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys that. Exciting, okay? Let's go to floor. You're gonna love this first set. I, I do splits like this, and I do jack like this. It's good stuff. Try over the table. Yeah, yeah. Smooth it. You done? Should I go to high bar now? You want to go high bar, eh? To get it done? Okay. Absolutely, why not? Yeah. You want to, yeah, go ahead. In like a week since I can't. Do you feel rested? It's time to red, yeah. Skip the pass. like a management or something. That's okay. Am I that was good now, eh? Or you just do four? That was just Oh. That middle finger it was for Tristan. By the way. Action. Sorry. I did. <laughs> Artistic, I can make this. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Clean, eh? Pretty good. No. Just kiss. Tristan. What? Way to ruin the video with your gross Bro, face. I'm good. So good. It's a cute oh, face. God. All right. That's enough floor for the presses. Uh, time for P bars. I literally time only need one or two turns on P bars. P bars is ready to go. Time for bleed. Time for bleed. All right, let's get started. Nice. Boom. Deadly. Make sure to like and subscribe. Alright, time for Palmo. We'll just spent the last like 20 30 minutes setting up some more mats for the competition. So, yeah, we're only gonna do like two or three turns on Palmo. I just want to do like one of all my leather stuff and then we're good. I've been getting dirty, man. Hurts my 
shoulders, man. I just bailed out halfway through the routine. My shoulders are way too sore. They'll be good for tomorrow, but today it's like they hurt. Oh shit. We got a got blood. Oh. Focus, focus up. Bro, what is going on with it? Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys get the point. There's a rip. Uh, and it rips open more as I do circles on the pommel, just from the bend of my wrist, ripping it. So you knew uh, just one more turn and then we're good. Tongue fade, tongue fade dismount. Pommel, pommel's ready, pommel's ready anyways. Boom. All right, that's the end of training. Like I said, very simple training. I think I'm zoomed in here. Oh yeah, there we go. Like I said, very simple training. Nothing, nothing too special. I kind of spent the first two hours of my training recording a bunch of gymnastics for the Tyso page so I can kind of, you know, file it all. And whenever I have the chance, I can just go and edit it. So that's nice. But yeah, touched the pommel, P-bar, it's high bar. A little bit of floor, vault's good, and rings are fine. The thing is, tomorrow I'm gonna like feel how the vault is. If it's not good, I'll just do double twist. If it's good, I'll go for that two and a half. Guess we'll see though. But yeah, good stuff. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you watched the full video and enjoyed it, glad to hear that. If you watched the full video, comment the word flip. F-L-I-P, flip. Okay, I love you.